Hi, this is Daniel Shanahan from New Leaf Data. And today in this video, I want to talk about a product that I have. That's the FileMaker Inventory Starter Kit. You can find the starter kit in a couple of different places. It's on the FileMaker Inventory Resources page down below in the store section. You can also find it on my website, newleafdata.com. If you scroll down, there's a couple of things that I offer, and one of those is the starter kit. When you click on the link, you can see everything involved in the kit. The description includes the licensing, the contents, the description, and the guarantee. Right now, I want to focus on the contents. When you download the kit, you get several files. You get a PDF user's guide. You get a starter file. You get a modifiable data model layout mockups, and another product that I have, NLD Grids. First thing I want to do is go through the FileMaker Pro starter file. I have here two files side by side. One is the starter file, and the other is the starter solution. And the starter solution comes from FileMaker Inc. I put these side by side to compare and contrast them. The starter file comes in the starter kit. A starter file is about structure. A starter solution is about structure, but it's also about design and it's also about business logic. In a starter solution, you, you are pretty close to an off-the-shelf solution. And so the idea is that you would be able to use the layouts and use the scripts and make modest modifications. The starter file is much more flexible. In a starter file, there is structure, but it doesn't determine what your layout is going to look like. That's up to you. And it doesn't have predetermined business logic, so you would add most of the scripts. Now let's take a look at what it means for the starter file to have structure. Here's a list of the tables, and you can see that the starter file comes with a series of tables. There's 39 tables, which includes this template. The template is helpful because it carries with it some housekeeping fields. So you don't have to duplicate those every time you need a new template. You can copy it and paste it. Like that. A description of each of the tables is in the user's guide. And we'll take a look at that in a bit. Many of the most needed fields are already in the table. And you can see that as you scroll down through the tables, that the tables have different numbers of fields. And we can take a look at some of these fields. Just to do a quick run through. The fields themselves are pretty self-explanatory, but whether when they're not as self-explanatory, then there are, there are comments that are helpful. The relationship graph in this starter file is not set up, and that's on purpose. So you might want to organize your relationship graph based on any number of methodologies. You might want to do a unified method. You might want to do anchor buoy. You might want to do a session model. You might want to do a selector connector. All of that is possible. The layouts are structured as well. All the user interface layouts are outside of a folder and they're at the top. These are organized by al in alphabetical order. There's a folder structure set up for other layouts. Some are populated and some are not. For instance, you may not use a modal window, but the folder is there and you could keep your modal windows there. Obviously, we don't have any reports in the file. The folder for mobile is populated and there are several layouts for iPad and iPhone. There are templates for desktop, which you could see here detail and list view. There are templates for detail and list view for the iPad and for the iPhone. The desktop layouts are 1280 points wide. 
And so I can scroll through all the any of the any of the layouts. You can see they're empty, but all the layouts are the same. So right away you have some consistency in the layout. This is true for the mobile layouts as well. So here we are on the iPhone. Uh, now I'll come over here to a, another one on the iPhone, and the, the layout stays the same. So the layout has consistency. The scripts are organized in a way that allows you to create your own business logic. There are folders in which it's recommended to put certain types of scripts, but those scripts don't exist yet. So that's up to you to create that business logic that goes in here for those scripts. There are some, some scripts that are generic ones, like the open and close. It's a series of utility scripts that may be helpful. You don't have to use any of them, but these I have found to be pretty helpful and pretty generic, and so those are in there. That's the file that you receive. It gives you the structure of the tables, most of the fields you'll need. You'll need. It gives you the blank slate of the relationship graph, so you can set up your relationship graph in any model you'd like. It gives you structure and consistency in your layout, but it doesn't design the layout for you, so that's all up to you, and there's great flexibility with that. The user's guide describes the various files and provides details on those files. One of the things about the user's guide is it goes through a naming convention, and there's also a section in here for the table definitions. So if you're looking at the inventory file, and you look at those tables, and you're not sure how you would use those tables, you could come to this user's guide and see the table definition. The user's kit also comes with a modifiable data model. Now, you may remember that there's a free PDF data model available on FileMakerInventoryResources.com. This is one of the free files that's available. You do have to sign up for the updates and downloads, but once you do that, you'll have a link to all the downloadable files. And one of those files is an inventory management data file in a PDF form. So that's free, and if you don't have that, you can go and grab that right now. But in order to make a customizable solution, you may need to tweak that data model. And so the inventory starter kit allows you to do that with these modifiable data models. The files are the same as the PDF, except that you can open them if you have OmniGraffle, Microsoft Visio, or if you can open it with the XML. There's an XML document. So if you have a drawing program that can import XML, you could use this. You'll also receive a compressed file of layout mockups. Again, just to reiterate, the FileMaker file has structure, but it doesn't have design, and so you'll need to design those layouts. And the layout mockups give you some ideas about how you might want to do that. So let's take a look at the sales order files. Here are the sales orders, and here's one way in which you might want to set up your sales order page. And these are some of the other tabs that are involved here. So those are some different options for the sales order. And those are in PNG form. But you also have the file in a BMPR, a JSON, and a PDF. The BMPR is a balsamic file extension. I created these using balsamic mockups. So if you're using balsamic, you could open these in that application. You might be able to open it in a different application using JSON. The idea is that once you're able to open that up, open that data up in Balsamic or another application, that you can manipulate the objects and change the design as you'd like. And as you can see, there's several areas in which the designs uh, that offer design mockups. The final item in the FileMaker Pro Inventory Starter Kit is NLD Grids. 
This is a tool that I've developed that helps me to design layouts. To use it, you would navigate to the grid section and determine how you want your layout to look. Let's say I want to have three columns with the main data in the middle section. I might choose this one here. I'll go down to 1280. That's the width of the inventory of the inventory layouts. And here I have a couple of blocks and so what I could do is enter into layout mode. Yeah, let me make this a little bigger. I could grab all of these things and I could paste, uh, copy those and paste those into my layout. And then as long as I make sure that all of my objects fit within these blocks, then I'll have a very nicely balanced design on my layout. I also have a spacer here. So if at any time my files get moved around, uh, I can move it right to the spacer. There's also a layout with several blocks where you can create any number of combinations. This is especially helpful for dashboards. This layout is important too because it gives you the uh, major and minor steps and gives you uh, the, the gutter spacing. I've created some demos on NLD grids and I'll leave those links in the description below. That's everything in the FileMaker Pro Inventory Starter Kit. You get the PDF user's guide, you get the FileMaker Pro starter file with all the tables, most of the fields that you'll need, you have a relationship graph that you can create as you want. You have layouts that are set to go but not predetermined and designed for you. And you have a scripting structure so you know where to put scripts, but you have really a basic minimum. And you also have layouts, a layout folder structure that's all ready to go, but it doesn't confine you into how you would build your custom solution. The license is for a single user, so a single user at the time of this video is 397, 379, but there's also a multiple use user. So if you're a developer or if you're in a situation where you're going to create multiple inventory systems for your company, then you'll want to use a, multi, a multiple use license. And then once you purchase a multiple use, you can use it anytime. It's not bound by year. You, could ju you just use it forever. There's also a guarantee. I encourage you to read through that guarantee. 15 days, buy this. If you don't like it in 15 days, send it back. Now, I'd like to be able to say send it back, no questions asked, but really, I want to know how I can make it better. So anything you can tell me about it, uh, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. But pretty low risk. You can download this, buy it, and in 15 days, you say this is not what I thought it would be, not what I expected. You don't even have to say anything. You can just say, I want my money back, and I'll give you your money back. A good place to start is on this download. This is also on Gumroad, and I'll leave that description. I'll leave that link in the description. This is just the user guide, and this is free. So you would click on this, I want this, and then that's going to, uh, that's going to initiate you and you would leave that price at zero. Don't put a price in there. And you could download this for free and you get this nine page document and that will tell you more about the files involved. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. You're certainly welcome to contact me directly. You could do that at filemakerinventoryresources.com or you could do it at newleafdata.com. Thanks.